Hey, speaking about attitude, um, I'm reading this article from uh, written by Torre, who is a MSNBC correspondent. And the title of the article is The Magical Negro Falls to Earth. And the magical Negro that he is referring to is none other than President Barack Obama. And basically the point of this article is that America needs to reelect Barack Obama to prove that we're not racist. And basically what he's saying is the first time doesn't prove anything because the economy was so bad and people had so much hope for Obama that they voted for him uh, despite the fact that he was black. So even though we were a bunch of racists, we held our nose and voted for the black guy anyway because the alternative was so bad, the economy was so bad, and we still thought that he might do a good job. But now, after four years of failure, see, this is when we really can show that we're not racist. We need to reelect him even though he's disappointed us. Even though he's done a lousy job, we have to vote for him anyway to prove that, he's not, that we're not racist. Why? Because he's black. So in other words, we have to overlook the fact that he's failed, that he hasn't delivered on his promises, that the economy is getting worse, but we have to vote for him anyway simply because he's black to prove we're not racist. In other words, we have to be racist to prove that we're not racist. I mean, can you believe that? I mean, we can't win. How about just saying people voted for Obama because they actually believed him. They didn't care about the color of his skin. They actually bought into the nonsense of his ideas. But now that they've experienced four years of the actual Obama, they don't like it and they don't want to vote for him. It doesn't matter the color of his skin. Yet when you get a guy like Tory coming out and saying, well, if somebody doesn't vote for Obama, it's simply because he's black. It's got nothing to do with all these bad things and all the things that we don't like that we're simply basing our decision on race. I tell you, if anybody in this country is basing their decision on race, it's probably blacks who are voting for Obama because he's black. In fact, I don't think there's probably, oh, maybe, maybe there's a few, but there's probably not that many white people who are voting for Mitt Romney because of his race. Right? There might be a few. I mean, there might even be some Mormons that are voting for Mitt Romney because of his religion. But I would say that if anybody, any one group is making a vote strictly on racial lines, it's a lot of blacks who are voting for Obama because he's black. In fact, how many blacks in the Democratic primary, when Obama ran against Hillary Clinton, how many blacks voted for Obama simply because he was black? I'm sure far more blacks voted for Obama because of his blackness than women voted for uh, Hillary because she was women. In fact, that was the real thing. That was the real battleground that Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama had was with black female Democrats. Are they going to vote their race or vote their ethnicity, right? Or, or vote their gender, right? Vote your race or vote your gender. How about just vote ideas? How about just vote for the person who you think is going to be the best president, regardless of what sex they are or what race they are? And, you know, this is what actually is going on. But of course, you know, uh, a Toure doesn't want to acknowledge the fact that maybe we're not a bunch of racists. We just don't want to vote for Obama because we don't like the socialist policies that he stood for. And and if, 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 if there was a black man running as a Republican who believed in the free markets, hey, we'd all vote for him.